what's going on guys we have stefano's forerunner here this is a 2023 forerunner it's got 900 miles on it he just brought it in for us to do some work uh, so today we're going to be doing a front trd pro style grill we're going to be doing a front valence also a rear valence i think it's really cool that this thing is literally brand new almost off of the lot and he trusts us to bring it here and have us do work on it so uh thanks stefano this is going to be a pretty easy install so let's get into it Gotta clock in. This thing doesn't even have any dirt on it yet. The clips are like completely clean, which is nice. So in order to do the grill or the valence, you don't really have to take the bumper off. Um, I'm just doing it for convenience. It's going to be a lot easier for me to get to these clips. Um, so yeah, that's the whole reason I pulled the bumper off. It'd probably take me just as long to pull the bumper off as it would to try to get all of these clips off with the bumper on the vehicle. No more silver. Getting a drill bit. the bearing tool. Make sure you're installing your O's right side up. We have a lot of people who send us emails with their O's all crooked and wondering why. It's because you put them on upside down. Like I've said, you can do the front valence with the bumper installed, um, but I can say that it was definitely easier to get everything lined up and all the clips in. It is a pain to try to do it with the bumper on the vehicle because um, you're pretty much doing everything blind. You can't see what you're doing, you're just feeling around. So being able to see everything, making sure everything's in all the way is definitely a lot nicer. Bumper's back on, valence is on, new grill is on, uh, Raptor lights are in. We're just about to go ahead and wire those up. Um, we're gonna be wiring them a little bit differently. In our install video, we have you tapping into a fuse in your fuse box. Um, we're gonna be wiring them into the running lights. So we have a fuse tap here on the running light wire. When he turns the running lights on, the Raptor lights will come on. This way they're not on 24 seven when the truck is on. Um, different way of doing it, but works just as well.
All right, front is finished. Raptor lights are hooked up and working. Looks way better than before. Got rid of that OEM silver valence and the factory grill looks so much better with the TRD Pro style one. Now we're gonna head to the back. We're gonna pull the rear bumper and we're gonna get the rear valence replaced to match the front one. Yeah, these are my brand new wheels that I got from Stefan. I don't know what I'm doing with them, but they have three miles on them. He had them removed from the 4Runner before it left the dealership, I'm assuming. So I don't know if I'm gonna put them on the third gen 4Runner or just put them somewhere until I find a use for them. But yeah, he doesn't want them, so I bought them. Clocking out, quoted him two hours of labor. I did it in an hour and 57 minutes, just in time. Guys, we got Stefano's 4Runner wrapped up. We got the new grill on there, the Raptor lights, the front and the rear valence swapped out, and it looks way better than it did when he brought it to us. If you guys are interested in getting something done to your 4Runner, you can shoot me an email at installation at yodaexpedition.com. We are in Pennsylvania, so if you're in the tri-state area, shoot us an email if you're serious about getting something installed. That's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next. And if you're not interested in an install, you're just looking to do this at home yourself, all this stuff is available on yodaexpedition.com. Link is in the description.